So, welcome back to the last lecture on uh, blockchain uh, architecture design and use cases. So, we are all done in this course. So, we have uh, discussed uh, many topics. So, this is a concluding lecture where I will briefly talk about uh, what we have covered in this course and what we have not covered and then mention some very interesting use cases uh, using blockchain technology that you can explore further for your uh, understanding. So, uh, what we have covered in this course is particularly uh, started from very fundamentals of the Bitcoin blockchain and their basic concepts of uh, distributed systems and uh, cryptographic uh, uh, public key and uh, private, private key based uh, security architecture. Uh, we have discussed the blockchain data structure in details. Uh, we have looked into the different kind of consensus protocols which are there in blockchain starting from the proof of work mining procedure in Bitcoin, the proof of stake, uh, proof of elapsed time and many other advanced uh, consensus mechanism. Uh, we have looked into primarily the distributed notion of consensus in the blockchain technology. Uh, then we have touched upon the security protocols in uh, blockchain uh, in little details, the different kind of security architecture that can be there in a blockchain platform. Uh, we have had a detailed discussion on the permission model of blockchain, which is uh, termed as blockchain 2 in industry. We have looked into the how the uh, traditional distributed system algorithms can be applied uh, on a blockchain platform uh, to uh, design nice uh, scalable architecture of uh, smart contracts uh, in a closed environment. So, we have explored different kind of distributed consensus protocols starting from raft, paxos and then move towards the Byzantine fault tolerant architecture. Uh, we have looked into how BFT can be applied uh, in a blockchain environment. Then uh, Pravin has touched upon multiple industry use cases and uh, he has given an entire demo of uh, blockchain fabric and uh, uh, hyperledger fabric and hyperledger composer. Uh, hopefully, you have learned how to write a smart contract using the fabric platform. Uh, and we have discussed about multiple use cases from multiple domains ranging from government uh, uh, use cases, uh, finance use cases, supply chain and trading uh, use cases, the use cases from uh, data science and artificial intelligence based applications and so on. And we have touched upon multiple research aspects which are there in blockchain. And this topic of blockchain is now a hot topic. It is uh, being discussed in many top tier conferences around the world, both in the distributed system community as well as in the uh, security research community. We have primarily touched upon the uh, secure multi-party computation using blockchain, an interesting research topic which is being explored nowadays. Uh, we have looked into the scalability aspect of the blockchain. We have looked into multiple advanced protocols, uh, consensus protocols which had been proposed in the literature uh, based on the blockchain technology like the Bitcoin, the Algorand, uh, this kind of protocols. And uh, we have uh, touched upon the privacy issues uh, there in the blockchain. So, this is uh, this gives a uh, entire coverage of a uh, huge topic. So, many of the topic we have touched with the fundamentals like the basic topics of uh, distributed uh, system and uh, the how blockchain utilizes the concept of distributed system for developing a nice platform. So, as I have mentioned many of the times or Pravin has mentioned that the success of blockchain is because of uh, combining three different technologies altogether. The concepts from distributed system, the concept from security. Uh, and uh, cryptography and the concept from economics. So, uh, combining these three technologies all together or the concepts from these three define all together defines a nice architectural platform which is possibly going to revolutionize the way we write down an application over the internet. Uh, so, this is uh, a wide range of topics. So, as I have mentioned uh, many of the fundamental topics we have uh, went into details and many of the topics we have just touched upon give, give, have given you a basic introduction of the topic or an overview of the topic and we have left it uh, on you for uh, further exploration. Uh, if you are interested those are kind of uh, advanced topic uh, in the 
literature. So, we have not covered uh, many of the topics as well, uh, mostly uh, the requirement that may come from you like uh, as there are multiple blockchain platforms like the Ethereum, Codam, Stellar, Multichain, OpenChain and many others, we have just looked into the demo from the perspective of uh, blockchain fabric because uh, this uh, uh, hyperledger fabric it is used uh, in the IBM in our industry uh, standard and uh, the industry is developing application using the fabric based platform. Uh, so, we have discussed uh, the detailed programming model uh, on top of fabric, but there are other uh, languages other platforms like Ethereum which is also gaining popularity people are de developing applications on top of uh, Ethereum based platform. Uh, so, we have not touched specifically on those platforms or at the end Praveen has given you a brief idea of different competitive technologies. Uh, but if you are interested you can always uh, go to the details of that particular technology and look into their architecture, look into their programming model and start writing your own uh, distributed application. So, the fundamental concept is same, uh, the fundamental concept of blockchain that uh, we have discussed as a part of the course, only the programming model may differ. So, you can exploit it yourself to uh, look into further. Now, uh, let us look into some stellar blockchain applications uh, which uh, uh, have utilized this concept of blockchain nicely and uh, given us uh, some interesting applications and made a competition in the industry or made a competition in the market as well. So, as like earlier we will not go to the details of this individual application this is just to give you certain pointers that uh, after this course what you can look for or uh, what you can explore further. So, the first application is something called uh, guard time. Uh, so, this uh, guard time application it uh, uh, create uh, keyless signature. Uh, so, this digital signature is an important concept nowadays I mean for many of the applications you require digital signature, but guard time it provides you a signature mechanism in a decentralized platform by utilizing keyless technology. You do not require any key uh, to sign a particular document to, to validate the signature of a particular document. So, you, it works in a peer to peer uh, witness co-signing kind of model. So, you can look into their architecture about uh, how they are developing this particular platform. And interestingly this particular platform is utilized in Estonia uh, in a large scale. So, they have used this guard time to securely store uh, validate uh, the digital record the digital health record of the patients in the government hospitals. As I have mentioned earlier as well that Estonia is uh, working like a pioneer in deploying blockchain based technologies. Uh, so, we have looked into this uh, e-Estonia portal uh, where uh, you can be an e-citizen of Estonia and participate in their uh, services. Uh, so, uh, this is uh, another technology guard time which they have utilized for uh, digitally signing and document without utilizing any kind of key. So, uh, if you are not utilizing any kind of key for signing a document you are actually free from the fear of losing the key or uh, having a kind of adversarial attack on top of the key. Uh, another interesting application is this Reme. Uh, Reme is again a decentralized authentication system with the help of Reme uh, you can uh, authenticate a particular user in a decentralized environment. Uh, so, you can develop multiple business model where authentication is important and again uh, in this particular architecture you do not have a central server uh, like this other database where you are storing all the user data and use it for the authentication purpose. So, that way uh, interestingly you, uh, you do not have any central server. So, that is why you do not have a fear of having an attack on that central server. Uh, so, that is the Reme architecture that you can explore further. The third uh, application of blockchain is another application I want to mention is Simply Vital Health. So, this Simply Vital Health is an health application uh, to manage health records and um, patient care with the help of uh, this blockchain based platform. So, uh, with this platform you have the health practitioners who can join, who can um, uh, give suggestion to the patients, the patients can join, the patients can uh, say about their problem, uh, then the record of the patients can be stored in a secure way. Uh, 
and this entire architecture run in a decentralized uh, manner. So, there is no central platform or say no central database where everything is going all together. So, in a complete peer to peer architecture, uh, you are able to connect the patients with the health practitioners and the, with the doctors all together. Uh, then uh, another application of uh, blockchain based supply chain. So, we have looked into uh, this supply chain management using blockchain in details in little details. Uh, we have looked into that why blockchain can uh, work like a nice technology for developing supply chain management. So, provenance is uh, one such application. So, uh, provenance actually maintain uh, a supply chain of uh, different products uh, in the supply chain path. Uh, so, it provides a nice tracking platform uh, to find out that how a particular product or where a particular product has been originated and how it is moving from different stakeholders and finally, reaching to the final customer. So, this is this is a nice platform for managing uh, supply chains. Then this uh, platform called Block Verify, uh, which is again a blockchain based platform for anti counterfeit measure. So, counterfeiting is a kind of uh, frauding where you are uh, developing uh, false replicas of the original items and those false replicas are being sold in the market. Uh, so, to design an anti counterfeit measure, Block Verify uh, uh, have a nice architecture. So, they work on multiple products like pharmaceutical luxury items, diamonds, and the electronics product. Uh, so, it provides an anti counterfeit solution where you can verify uh, what is the origin of a particular product or uh, whether that particular product is an original product or a valid product or not. Then uh, comes this application possibly uh, importance uh, from the government perspective, uh, follow my vote. Uh, it is a blockchain based platform for secure transparent voting system. Again, it is a peer to peer based system. Uh, no one is going to store the data or no one will be able to tamper the data, the voting data. You can prove yourself that you have given the vote or later on if you are denying that uh, you have given a vote. Uh, others will be able to prove that that vote actually belongs to you. So, uh, nowadays we have lots of controversy regarding this uh, voting based system. So, this gives a nice architecture uh, of utilizing blockchain based technology for the uh, voting purposes. Uh, so, uh, I suggest you to explore this further to look into their architecture. It follows a nice peer to peer architecture where people can cast their vote and this based on a uh, decentralized computation platform, the vote is getting counted and uh, final vote is getting reported in a fair and in a secure manner. Then this platform called Open Buzzer, who is possibly uh, going to be a competitor of uh, Flipkart or Amazon type of services. So, uh, it provides a decentralized marketplace where it meets a buyer and seller altogether. Uh, now, uh, you can just think of it uh, as an alternate uh, environment of uh, Amazon or Flipkart, where you do not have any central database like this Amazon storage or the, uh, this uh, Flipkart uh, data center. Uh, rather, this entire platform is decentralized and the buyers and the sellers are meeting uh, in a decentralized platform. So, uh, it is just like that the, you want to sell something, you participate in this uh, platform you register yourself in these platforms and the buyers will be able to see your product. And if the buyer is going to buy that product, then you can directly communicate with the buyer and fix up uh, the price and so on. So, it is again a decentralized peer to peer platform without any middleman. Uh, so, the charges possibly uh, will be much less because you do not need to or better to say you, uh, you do not have to deal with any middleman like the Amazon uh, or the Flipkart for uh, buying uh, a product or for selling your product. Well, uh, then there is this uh, blockchain based solution called uh, Ubiquity. Ubiquity is a real estate record keeping solution. So, it maintains the real estate record, you can validate the real estate record and the land records. If you are purchasing a land, uh, land you can verify the registry and uh, you can take the uh, preventive measure for uh, real estate management. 
Well, then this application uh, and very interesting application called uh, Arcade City. Uh, this is again going to be a competitor for Uber or Ola kind of ride sharing platform. Again, you do not have a middleman here. Uh, you are avoiding a middleman and developed a complete uh, decentralized platform for ride sharing. Uh, so, Arcade City provides a ride sharing platform where uh, the cab drivers and uh, um, uh, and uh, uh, say passengers they come together you can search for the cabs and if the cab is there an automatic uh, match is uh, being done uh, between the cab and uh, uh, between the customer and uh, uh, you can you can directly avail the cab so again there is no such middleman like ola and ube there is a direct uh, business to business model between the customer and the uh, uh, cab driver uh, so it is again uh, decentralized uh, peer to peer architecture based well, uh, the uh, final blockchain application that uh, I wanted to mention, it is called Lazus. Lazus is again a ride sharing platform which utilizes the unused space on a vehicle. So, it is it is little different from the previous application that I have mentioned. Uh, in the previous application, it is a ride sharing platform, it matches the cab drivers with the passengers. But here, it is like that say you have hired a particular car a particular taxi in a city and there is certain free space in your taxi as well and you are free to uh, share that space with uh, some other person. Possibly you can also share the final fare uh, that you have. So, what you can do you can register that empty space in your vehicle on this particular Lazarus platform and uh, if someone is searching for a vehicle they can avail your vehicle and uh, you two can uh, go simultaneously. So, it uh, designs a sustainable uh, uh, transport platform where you can uh, share the cab, uh, even uh, the passengers can coordinate among themselves for sharing a, a particular cab. So, well, uh, so I hope that uh, you are now ready to build your own blockchain application. You got certain nice ideas uh, and hopefully we are able to uh, meet your requirement of learning these new technologies altogether. Uh, hopefully from now onwards you will start uh, writing your own blockchain application on your favorite platform. So, thank you all for attending this course. Uh, uh, we are always uh, free to help you. So, if you have any further doubt or anything uh, feel free to uh, connect to either myself or Praveen, uh, we will be happy to help you in uh, designing uh, your uh, blockchain application or uh, to boost up your ideas in this domain. So, thank you again uh, for attending this course. Uh, thanks.